the attack meanwhile on Caterkiller. Caterkiller really in the midst of everything at the moment. Traditional wedge shake. In goes Tornado. Lower. Killer lock. Caterkiller. Barbecue. Tornado. It's a surprise performance by the Tornado team from Huntington. They've done very well. All work colleagues. Promises to Robot Wars. Again attacking Berserk 2. Slamming Stuart Borden, Graham Kershaw. The Tornado team are very interesting. They're all engineers. Dave here chases storms. He's a storm chaser. That should be the title of a movie, <laughs> the storm chaser. Awesome. And uh, you've got a very powerful machine here, which can pull a land rover. Land rover, no problem, yeah. Fabulous. And the tornado, of course, destroys everything, everything in its path. From hunting, tornado. Ready to whip up a storm through its industrial motor power. Fixed spikes provide the teeth of the gale, a steel and polycarbonate body to withstand any buffeting. But after the storm, perhaps the doldrums. Hi, I'm Andrew Marchant, and this is our robot, Tornado. These are my team members, Dave Gamble and Brian Moss. Tornado's powered by two 24-volt, 750-watt motors, but we overrun them to 36 volts, and we gear very low. So we've got a lot of power and a lot of acceleration. In fact, we've got seven brake horsepower, which we think is the most power that any robot's ever had. Roboteers, stand by. Caterkiller with the lifting arm, Keith Williams, sister Julianne and girlfriend Georgie Reed. Tornado, work colleagues Andrew Marchant, David Gamble and Brian Moss. And there's Gemini, Shane Howard, Brian Fountain and young Daryl Howard. Three, two, one. Activate. Watch for the split. There straight away, the twins break up. Sisters of mercy or daughters of doom, Gemini spinning around the arena floor immediately. Difficult to keep track on them for the rest of the competing robots and the house robots. How do you close on one robot when suddenly it becomes two? Tornado on the attack meanwhile on Caterkiller. Caterkiller really in the midst of everything at the moment. Traditional wedge shake. In goes Tornado. Lower, flatter. Very little ground clearance on Tornado as it comes slamming in on the attack at 10 miles an hour. Caterkiller flipped up and over. Has the lifting arm, can it self right? I don't think so. Tornado with a little bit of a shove. Electrically operated that flipping lifting arm of Caterkiller from Adelson in Surrey, but at the moment they're being shoved across the arena floor by Tornado. The boys from Huntingdon doing their stuff here. On Caterkiller, the tail hangs limp at the back of the Caterkiller. Oh, in towards Shunt there. Into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, and down comes Shunt. Great axe blade right into the Mechanical guts of Caterkilla, which really doesn't make pleasant thinking. Out comes Shunt now. There's part of the twins there, Gemini. It'll lunge! And a great attack as well from the pneumatically powered flipper. Can flip up to 250 kilograms, and surely here Caterkilla's done for. Meanwhile, on the attack on Tornado there, the twins, Gemini. A and B together. Now, Killalot has pinched Caterkilla. But surely is doomed. Gemini under attack. 80 kilos of Caterkiller being dragged across the arena floor, though, by Killalot. Killalot, Caterkiller, Barbecue. Oh dear. Tornado, meanwhile, puts the wind up shunt. Only a little bit. Well, not a little bit. Look at that. That's great power from the Tornado team. Meanwhile, Caterkiller, they know they're out of it. Shut onto the great arena. Pick it out of there very quickly, House Robot. We don't want to see you doomed. Caterkiller's about to be doomed. But the Gemini bots are spinning madly all over the place. This is bamboozling, bewitching stuff from Gemini. Tornado comes back in as stubborn as a Capricorn as the Geminis fling themselves around the arena. Caterkiller immobilised, dead. Long, long time ago, slammed against the arena. Well, there's no light. Oh, the tails come off. Cater, no tails. And there they are. They know they're out of it. The Caterkiller team. Meanwhile, ooh, dead metal. In goes the great circular blade of dead metal. Oh, tornadoes in the pit. They think they're still in Caterkiller. I don't think they are. I think they were immobilized a long time ago. I think it's Caterkiller that have gone here despite their celebrations. We'll wait and see, of course, but I think they've already got. I think Tornado are OK. Am I right? Gemini, magnificent, man. superb. Whoa! What a fantastic fight! But Caterkiller goes home with his tail between his legs. Rope.
Liberties, stand by. Thought Tornado looked very, very good in the first encounter. Zerk 2, a little bit sluggish compared to the last war. Three, two, one. Reputation against performance so far, and you see Tornado has started the stronger with the pneumatic spikes, the fixed spikes as well. Slamming Berserk 2 against the arena wall. Berserk 2 bouncing back against the ref box. Tornado again on the attack. And don't forget, should this go to the judges, they will mark high on aggression. Also, damage core, style, control. Berserk 2 trying to get the forklift, the rear of the robot into play on Tornado, getting it in underneath Tornado. And the ground clearance of two and a half centimetres, Tornado. Berserk 2's going to have to go something here, I think, to beat Tornado. It's a surprise performance by the Tornado team from Hunting New. They've done very well. All work colleagues. Novices to Robot Wars. Again, attacking Berserk 2. Slamming Stuart Gordon, Graham Kershaw's machine against the arena wall again. Look at this, great power on the drive. Up to 10 miles an hour top speed for Tornado. From its industrial motors, a gear low, very, very powerful machine. They told us that earlier on in the programme. And Berserk 2 stuck on the arena wall. I think is in real trouble here. Splendid display by Tornado. Berserk 2 know they're in trouble. Graham Kershaw, there's a welder, and he's going to have to weld bits back on Berserk 2, I think. They only lost a hypnotist last time around. They haven't looked as impressive this time. And Tornado backs away and leaves the destruction for the house robots. They want Berserk 2 in the pit. They're going to get their wishes fulfilled. If Killalot can pick up Berserk 2 now as the Tornado team looks on. And Sir Killalot, with that great claw and the lance, picks up Berserk 2, carries towards the pit. And over the flame pit, which actually set fire to kill a lot in the last series of Robot Wars when he got too close. This time around, though, causing damage to Berserk 2, the flame pit. And Berserk 2 into the descending pit of doom. Tattered and torn like extremes. Cease. Daryl Howard, only 10. Must be proud. Tornado. Gemini replacing the series semi finals. Three, two, one. Gemini splitting immediately from the start. Now, each of those microbots, then, half the weight of Tornado, but still, each can flip Tornado up into the air, which makes it doubly impressive for me. Tornado, though, on the drive, slams one of the twins against the arena wall, and don't forget, as soon as one is out, both are out. Technical consultant Derek Foxwell and his team very, very strict on weights in this series of Robot Wars. But at the moment, Tornado is the heavyweight of this class, slamming in on part of Gemini, and I think impaling Gemini there, not quite impaled on the arena spike, but Tornado coming back in to make sure and slamming Gemini, and I think half the robot is impaled on the arena wall. Can they get away there? If they're immobilised for longer than 30 seconds, that's it. And Tornado would be the winner. Gemini, the cluster bot against Tornado, with a more orthodox look. And I think uh, part of the cluster bot trying to get the other side of the machine, the other twin off the arena wall, flipping Tornado up in the air. They're the Tornado team. They all work together. And working together magnificently in Robot Wars, and the twins helping each other out there as well trying to breathe life into its twin sister there. But is it too late? They were warned. If part of the cluster bot was immobilised for more than 30 seconds, they would be dead and out of it. Tornado, meanwhile, a clever game. It can work either side up, so flipping and tossing Tornado won't work. Will it go for the judges? What's the decision here? Very close. Brilliant final. Well, a bit of controversy. The rules say that a cluster robot, that's a robot of two or more parts, after it's separated, if one of those parts breaks down for more than 30 seconds and is mobilised for more than 30 seconds, because it's only one robot, then it's out. So the winner is Tornado! <laughs> Tornado!
Well, lads, it was an amazing engineering feat. <laughs> but you were aware of that rule? Oh, yeah, yeah, they beat us fair and square. And, but, so it was a, quite a risky strategy, really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what went wrong with half of it, then? Um, got rammed on that spike over there, and we think it's taken out either the speed controller or one of the batteries or something. See, when you've got two robots acting sort of independently of each other, you've got two chances of, of yeah. going out, haven't you, really? Yeah. Yeah. And we've got two two big weapons as well, so yeah. two times more chances of getting thrown up in the air as well. So. Yeah. But you've taken it all in good spirit. You'll oh, come yeah. back, won't you? Definitely, yeah. Let's hear it for Gemini! Tornado! <laughs> come on! Well, you're through to the series semi-finals. That is a powerful robot, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, it wasn't an easy fight. That, that's a couple of damn good robots they've got there. Um, we lost a chain about halfway through, but that, by that time we'd all, already immobilised one of theirs. And it's, then, uh, it's just the power of the thing of yours that's just, just so awesome. What's yeah. it like when you've got a fight? Like, you know, two separate robots at once? <laughs> it's difficult. It's very difficult. It's a very good idea. and it, We were just so lucky that we managed to spot, uh, impale them on that spike. And then if right. it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have got through. So I think there's going to be a lot more robots like that in the future of Robot Wars, yeah, aren't there? Yeah, I think it's a very... Uh, Good idea for the future for people building out there. So good luck in the series semi-finals, lads. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I've heard a few wolf whistles and a good many fours. Because there's only good-looking robots on Robot Wars. Bye bye.